Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today, there's going to be a pair of wide receivers looking to make big plays on the field. It's Jones's Falcons going up against Cook's Patriots. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, thanks. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with Matt Ryan and the defending NFC champions, the Atlanta Falcons. Thank you for joining us, everybody. I'm Brandon Gunn here in the booth with Charles Davis, and it's a matchup that folks have been waiting for for quite some time, a Super Bowl rematch as the Falcons look for redemption. And to me, it'll be interesting to see how the Falcons approach this game because, remember, this is a team that was ahead 28-3. to So do they need to really elevate their game? or they just need to play the game smarter down the stretch. New England, of course, comes in with nothing but confidence. They are the Super Bowl champions again. They don't ever feel like they need to elevate their game. They just need to play Patriots football. Andre Roberts now to return it. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They'll be led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League in his 10th season now is Matt Ryan. Oftentimes it's very difficult to get veteran players to move, to adapt, to add to their game. But Matt Ryan continues to expand. And in 2016, he did it so well. They threw touchdowns to 13 different receivers last season. And that was an NFL record. Also had a franchise record over 4,900 passing yards. Now a play fake here on first down. And they didn't wait long to take a shot there, that's for sure. But it falls incomplete. And it's second down. They were looking that time to get it to Justin Hardy. And it's second down. All right, let's look at the offense. Devontae Freeman, this is a guy that you wanted to talk about, so take it away. Brandon, have you seen a running back play with such joy as well as such fury? I love the way he runs the football and attacks defenses. Ten yards still left on second down. <laughs> Throwing again. Ryan. His throw is going to be incomplete. A quick look here at the Patriot defense. Because New England's offense is always one of the most dominant ones in the NFL, their defense often gets overlooked, but it's very cerebral in its approach, almost like an amoeba. Wherever you need to go to shut down an offense, that's how they gear their defense. So if you run the ball real well, they're going to take that away from you. If you throw it real well, they're going to take that away first. And then whatever you do to counter it, they always seem to have an answer as well. Third down, Ryan. And it's complete. Hooper. And that one good for 16 yards and a first. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. time with Devontae Freeman and a good pick up there he gets about six up to midfield let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield success on first down huge difference as we know between second and four and second and eight and nine second down and four from midfield now here's Ryan 
Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jones. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A phrase we said a lot last year, Ryan to Jones for a Falcon first down. Julio back-to-back all-pro seasons. Last year, over 1,400 yards. Averaged over 100 yards per game. Tops in the NFL. And that's the stat that catches my eye. Over 100 yards per game. And you always hear about defenses saying, we can rotate, we can send people in this direction, we can do things to limit a wide receiver. Yet Julio Jones averages over 100 per game. One of the most sensational stats I've seen in recent football. They go play action here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. And here comes play number six on this drive. to the running game. It's Freeman. Freeman the first down and more. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Freeman again, a first down carry. Down right around the 25. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. So second and nine, the defense looking to put them in a bad spot here. Here's Ryan to throw. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. From the gun on third down, Ryan. Finding Gabriel complete. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Ryan finding Gabriel for the Falcon first down. Partner, our parents always told us that relationships were going to be important in life. Taylor Gabriel <laughs> knew Kyle Shanahan in Cleveland before he was the offense coordinator in Atlanta. And boy, that payoff for the Falcons picking him up. Yeah, last year he had more touchdowns actually than Julio Jones. He had seven, Jones had six. And good parental advice there, Mr. Davis. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. From the red zone now, here's Ryan on first down. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Austin Hooper from 13 yards out. And the Falcons take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Could not have scripted it any better. And many offenses do script their opening possession on offense. They followed that one perfectly. Took the ball right downfield and scored, giving energy not just to the offensive unit, but to their team overall. Now Matt Bryant on for the point after. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the Falcons score to cap it off.
Here's Bosher to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. Tom Brady bringing out the New England Patriots, and Tom Brady still leading the league in passing yards through five weeks, through for 303 in their Thursday night win over Tampa Bay, 30 of 40 in that game, Charles. And how about him standing up to the pressure that he's receiving in 2017? A lot of pass rushers getting to him, sacking him, but still bouncing up, making plays, and still directing his team. Tom Brady at 40 years old, is an absolute marvel. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And he is knocked down from the side, right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. And now we take a peek at the Patriot offense. To me, the identity of the New England Patriots on offense is that they have no identity. They don't lean to the run. They don't lean to the pass. They just game plan each and every week for what they think is going to be most effective. And how does it turn out for them? One of the most balanced teams in the league, and they're usually way up there in the stats. They try again with Lewis. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. But when it comes to the running game, the New England Patriots, they're one of the few teams in the NFL that I don't think care much about balancing things out. <laughs> Last year, to your point, fifth in passing yardage, number 30 in the run game. What they want to do each and every week is make a game plan based on their opponent, not so much their own personnel, and they try to attack that way. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Throwing is Brady on third down. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost the game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And here now the defensive starters for Atlanta. The Atlanta Falcons defense of 2016 was ranked 25th, but don't get caught up in the numbers. The last eight or nine games of the season, things really started to click for head coach Dan Quinn, who really ran that defense based on what he had run in Seattle. And it really is predicated on speed, speed, speed. Every level of the defense. And Vic Beasley, their outside linebacker in his second season, had 15 and a half sacks and six forced fumbles, both which led the league. Now Brady throwing on second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Danny Amendola, that was the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. But a sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. Again, it's Brady. This is White on the screen. He had a quick little spin move, but the door shut fast as he's dropped. Only two on the screen pass there, and it'll be fourth down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game.
In his fifth year from La Tech, here's the lefty Ryan Allen to punt it. Back deep here, Andre Roberts. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I and mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. to Freeman. Now it's Ryan. Throwing over the middle and it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want. Get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Second and ten now. Ryan. Jones has it. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Offense coming up, needing two yards on third down. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Again, they'll run with Freeman. And some room to work. <laughs> Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They will run again with Coleman. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage.
The Falcons on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and two. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment defense. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. The Falcons averaged 34 points a game last year. Tops in the NFL with that powerful offense. And they're already looking for more here as they've got it first and 10. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. They'll run here with Freeman. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says, if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off the same way. They'll look to run with Freeman. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at a third and goal here. From the gun, it's Ryan. And he will score. Touchdown, Falcons. Matt Ryan with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Falcons will extend their lead. All drives that result in points hurt a defense, but when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. Bryant now to tack on the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. Here's Bosher to kick it away. And now out come the Patriots. 
Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Brady now on first down. Amendola catching it left side. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And right side caught Hogan. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Now prior to the snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. 14-0 is our score, and we'll return to Foxborough after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. On second down, here's Brady. Allen has it, left side. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Martellus Bennett moves on to Green Bay, so what do the Patriots do? They go get Dwayne Allen from Indianapolis. Yeah, for a fourth-round draft pick. And last year he had 35 catches, six touchdowns as a Colt. And also the Patriots got Brandon Cooks, Coney Ealy, and Allen all for draft picks. On third down. That's Lewis, and he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. yardage here to the 31 yard line that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down 
with the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. back at the 35. He lost four there, and it's third down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking, but you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. And able to find Dorsett. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. They convert on third with a gain of 22. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And he's got it. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Matthew Slater from 13 yards out. And the Patriots are back within a score. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed it in the huddle. Hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Koski now out to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Heading back onto the field, here's a look at Devontae Freeman now. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down, Freeman. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Here's Colbert. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. Falcons on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and 11. From the shotgun, Ryan. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to be taken down deep into Patriot territory. A big play on third down for the Falcons. 43 yards. We just saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. This is Freeman on first and 10. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after that strong run we witnessed. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. the bootleg. Blitz coming and down he goes. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Zach pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Taylor Gabriel, 26 yards. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack in the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. Here's Bryant for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So that drive goes eight plays, and the Falcons score to cap it off.
Here's Bosher to kick it away. Now Deion Lewis to return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. They'll start things on first down with Deion Lewis. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Now a play fake. Brady. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Allen. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to have a third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. New England on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. Wait, 20. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. And brought down, but the juke, the very nice juke, gets him the first down yardage there. Throwing on first down is Brady. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 14 yards is the pickup there in the New England first down. He was the cover guy for Madden in 2016, but I don't think Gronk saw that as being his highlight for the year. What did he have, 25 catches yeah, for the season? Only eight games went down for good right before Thanksgiving. You know he wants to be back with a vengeance in 2017. at one and it's Brady and a quick throw here that's complete and he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39 a gain of six there on first that throw has to be a quarterback's dream doesn't it big tight end curling in the middle of the field so it's great sight lines for him and when they show their numbers back to the quarterback when they sit down right there that should be pitch and catch Now Brady again. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. 
Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Instead of the running back in New England, sometimes they like to call him the passing back. So they get him the ball in different ways, don't they? They certainly do. Think about the ones they've had in recent vintage. You talk about Kevin Falk, Danny Woodhead, Shane Vereen. James White could have been the MVP in the Super Bowl if it wasn't for a certain quarterback that was on the field that day. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31. Defensively, they rally quickly after the broken tackle. A reminder coming up at halftime. Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before that. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Brady to throw again. And that one his first incompletion in its last six passes. And it's third down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. New England on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Maybe an anxious moment or two when the ball was on its way, but he does find a way to curl it in. Oh, yeah. That one definitely hugged the left upright, but he got it to go. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Side, they're playing press coverage. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And the catch is made by Justin Hardy. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen, but everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know they got a completion there, but I like the discipline they show to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. And he's going to be taken down deep into Patriot territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 
And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. And now a first down following that long game. Ryan leaves with Freeman on the draw. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On second down, here's Ryan. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try to pick up that third, isn't it? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. The Falcons on third down. Can't be any better than a perfect six for six. This is third and ten. From the gun, Ryan. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hardy. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the ten at the 11 or the 12. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. So on fourth down, off goes Matt Ryan, and on is another Matt, Matt Bryan. And the 42-year-old veteran's kick is up and good. And that will get the lead up to 14. It's good to be the kicker for the top offense in the NFL, and Matt Bryant was that in 2016. Led the league in scoring with 158 points. But boy, does Atlanta find him valuable. So dependable and clutch. And he's been valuable in this league for a while. Hard to believe he's been around since 2002. Bosher to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. <laughs> Spins past him. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. A lot of the problems have been on the other side of the ball. Is that frustrating for a quarterback who's been playing well? It is, but there's no way that the best ones let their teammates know that. They actually take it upon themselves and say, okay, I have to do even more or I need to play better. Maybe even say, I put my defense in a bad spot. That's what true leadership shows you. Yeah, well, he doesn't need to change much personally. First down, Brady. Allen's got it over the middle. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. 
So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Second down. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. Brady to Gronkowski. Cover athlete to cover athlete for a Patriot first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Offense has it first and ten. Shotgun now for Brady. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Brady again here on second and ten. And it's caught at the six-yard line. And he's going to get into the end zone. So cue up the Gronk spike. It's a Patriot touchdown. Rob Gronkowski as the first half is winding down and the Patriots have cut it back within a score. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. The point after try for Gronkowski. He's got it, and it's 24-17. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it ends with a New England touchdown. now out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Hey, 
They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top as we'll send you down the coast to Orlando where we check in with our friend Larry Ridley and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? All right, Brandon, back to you guys in a minute. But first, it's indeed time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Patriots are behind right now, but the home crowd should give them a boost. The Falcons will want to come out after the half and really put the pressure on from the start. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. First and 10, Ryan's on point with the throw, and this play goes for a score, giving them an early lead. Moving to late in the first quarter, Ryan's got it on the run, and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. That puts them on top by 14. Now first and 10, Brady's on target here, and he kept off the nine play drive with a TD. Now trailing by seven. About halfway through the second, Gabriel's got nobody around him on the deep pass. And he'll end up at the 15-yard line before being tackled. Continuing on the drive, Gabriel's by himself here, and he kept off the long drive with the TD. As they go out in front, 14 to seven. Just about out of time in the first half. Gronkowski will haul in the deep pass from Brady. Thank you, LR. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll start off with a give to Lewis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They'll run it now out of the gun. And some space here. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 18 big yards on that one, and a New England first down. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. The other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy's going to keep getting the football, and that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Four down, four down. Check, check. 
Here's a carry now for Mike Gillisley. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go round. They won't throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Now they'll throw with Brady. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. Yeah, now. who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? Yeah, down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. Now Brady throwing on second down. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Grady Jarrett busting throw to get him for a loss of six. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Brady going to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Well, he bounced up after taking a sack and took a shot downfield. I think a lot of us thought maybe he'd run draw in that situation instead. Tried to get all back in one play. Yeah, third and long. Thought he needed the deep pass. Couldn't connect it. Maybe he was hoping for a penalty downfield to give him the yardage they needed. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And that'll bring him back within four. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffened toward the end. Koskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. Outside, they're playing press coverage. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. He finds an opening past the 40. He's at the 40. 20. 10. Touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman, 75 yards. And the Falcons will extend their lead. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. 
Bryant now to tack on the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Here's Bosher to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. now on first down over the middle that's taken in by Gronkowski and they're able to get this one across the 35 that goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. So a pass gone awry there through the air, but I, I want to talk about the ground game that we've seen in the NFL from two rookies in particular, Kareem Hunt and Leonard Fournette. They do not look like rookies. Not at all, and Kareem Hunt's averaging 6.3 yards a carry. He's got six total touchdowns. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. Do you remember that first game against New England, the big pass downfield, 70-plus yards? So he can do it all. Leonard Fournette, he is built to have the football put in his chest and for him to run it, because that is a full-grown man with the ball in his hands. Had 181 yards in his last game with a long run of 90 yards <laughs> longest, at Pittsburgh. Longest in franchise history. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Brady now on first down, and it's incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. To throw again. Brady. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. New England on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and six. Twenty. 
throwing his Brady on third down. Amendola catching it left side. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. The Patriots pick up the first down. Brady to Amendola. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. throw is going to be incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And now it's second down. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. offense. And that'll set them back five. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Brady gives this one to Lewis. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game. That'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. New England on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and ten. From the gun, it's Brady. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact, able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it, and this one winds up no good. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Freeman again. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, 
Hard to get them started again occasionally. The Falcons on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. This is third and four. Here's Ryan. This is brought in by Hardy. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Second down following the run. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Fresh set of downs here. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. A fake to Freeman. Now it's Ryan. And finding the tight end, Hooper. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. But he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. So second and 10 here. Another carry for the workhorse tonight, Freeman. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The Falcons on third down. They've been outstanding. Seven first downs and eight tries. This will be third and six. They run the play fake to Coleman. Now Ryan. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. Man, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment. But let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. So on fourth down, off goes Matt Ryan, and on is another Matt, Matt Bryant. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. And Bryant's kick is good. And that will get the lead up to 14. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, but the net gain, three points. And you're going to have drives like that in this league. Sometimes you just got to take the three and move on. Always better than nothing.
Here's Bosher to kick it away. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really faded. And ordinarily when that happens, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella, because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up and they tend to play well. Throwing on first down is Brady. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Brooks Reed in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Well, that's the second time they've gotten to Brady, and you've got to do it a variety of ways. You want your regular pressure. Sometimes you have to bring extra. But in this case, they got to him, and that just doesn't happen very often. It's a rarity. He's just such a veteran. His pocket presence so good. But, hey, tip of the cap to the D. Second down, here's Brady. Goes right side, complete to Gronk. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. New England on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and eight. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he will find his man, that's Hogan complete. And they're gonna get this one all the way out across the 45. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down, very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. On first down, Brady. Allen has it, left side. And he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. down Brady he couldn't quite hold it got hit ball pops out incomplete I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one but that's the exact right throw either your receiver gets it or no one gets it give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it got rid of it no one got it so the incomplete pass brings up second down Throwing again, Brady. Right side, 
it's complete to Gronkowski. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The offense operating inside the 10 at the 8 here. It's first and goal. This is Lewis. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. When you look at the geography, we're staring at this part of the field. Don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run it in with Gillisley. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Mike Gillisley taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots are back within a score. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. Cut the lead down now to a touchdown. A 10-play drive that time. And it was all capped on the touchdown run by Mike Gillisley. Koskowski now out to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And back onto the field now comes Devontae Freeman. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of <laughs> know. But I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. We'll see if he can do it. Now a handoff. It's Freeman. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. A gain of three, second down. 
But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Just a couple on the ground there. That's going to bring up third and about six. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. The Falcons on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This will be third and six. Play action. Ryan. Caught on the right side by Jones. And eventually taken down. But how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. Ryan to Jones. The Falcon connection there for a first. Well, a clear running situation, trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football, so now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit them over the top. Throw on first down with Ryan. It's hauled in by Hardy. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now the offense lining up first and ten. A handoff, Devontae Freeman. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Swings it out to the flat for Freeman. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Falcons on third down. They've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. This will be third and five. From the shotgun, Ryan. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Matt Bosher now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big plays. Eat up chunks of yardage and cut down the number of times you have to snap the football. Go, 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 go. 
in not great starting field position here for the offense. First and ten, here's Brady. And right side, caught Hogan. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. So here we go, first and ten now. They go play action here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Adrian Claiborne in there to sack him for a loss of six. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Second down. Looking sideline incomplete. And right now I take my rudimentary kindergarten skills and draw where the tackle box would be because that was close. I thought he was in the tackle box. He has to be very careful where he gets rid of the football from that spot. Yeah, they say there was a receiver in the area, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always a receiver in the area. New England on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and 16. 220, 220. Hey, hey, hey. Shotgun now for Brady. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. now on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Wide open, Gronkowski. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pick up there, 22. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down.
Brady now on first down. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open, now second down. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. False start. Offense. So that'll back him up five. Again, it's Brady. And that's going to be incomplete. He was looking to find some space for Deion Lewis there. Third down here. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. New England on third down. Now they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This will be third and 15. Now Brady again. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. It's got to the point we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair it goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers, too. Yeah, yeah tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. It's just not right. And now a first down following that long game. Now a play fake here on first down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch him on their heels. Ooh, long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. offense. That's going to set him back five yards. say that this could be huge forget it it was huge gave him a comfortable lead Here's Bryant for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 
The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Here comes Philip Dorsett now to return it. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. Deion Lewis getting set to go again here with his guys on offense. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync because early in a game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets, and you might not block them quite the way you want to. But as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together. And that's what we're seeing right now. On first down, Brady shakes off the sack. This is complete to guess who? Gronkowski again. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A good pick up there of 20 yards. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. False start. Offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So after the mistake by the offense, it cost him five yards, and now first and 15. From the gun, it's Brady. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now Brady throwing on second down. And this will be incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Throwing is Brady on third down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Brooks Reed in there to get him for his second sack of the night. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. 
They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. False start. Offense. So that one will be accepted. Brady not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it here on fourth. They'll try and pick it up with Lewis. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. They run, Devontae Freeman. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. So the offense looking at a second and eight. Running right, this is Freeman. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. The Falcons on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This is third and 11. Coleman now. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. This is Freeman. 
And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold them up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Here's Freeman, and he is going to feel that one. Knocked down hard at the 17-yard line. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Ryan heads down to a knee, and that should wrap this one up. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Foxborough, good night, everybody.